Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Glad to either hear that. Okay, today's topic is very self-explanatory. It's very entertaining as well. I have a little fun today. How many are we? We're nine, we're eight right now. Teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening, Will. How hey. are you? Um, fine, fine. Huh? So, so tired, but... Uh, just arrived at home. Uh, let me have my dinner, please. Oh, and yeah, sure. The connection. Yes. Sure. Thank you, teacher. We're about to do the attendance, so. Okay. Thank you. Keep an eye on it. Just waiting for your classmates. Okay, so we are 12 right now. I'm just going to do the attendance as the first bullet point. And this is going to be a routine from now on. We have to do the attendance first. And then move on with the class. So. Hmm. Okay, where's the attendance? It was around here. There it is. Okay. Let's go. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Okay. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Cheves. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gabriela Ignacio Lara. Sorry, Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriel, Gabriel. It's not here yet. Okay. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present, good evening. Good evening, thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. No. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She was connecting, she is connecting. Still connecting the audio. Man. Hmm. She's taking a while, but she's, she's here. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, Rosen. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Present teacher. Stephanie, where are you? Here. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Hi. Good evening. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, no. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera, who is having dinner right now. It's okay. Okay, welcome guys to tonight's lesson. Um, so let's go with the homework, your homework. So to make this more interactive, to start up the class, let's go to your Zoom chat. Go to your Zoom chat and throw me your sentences. I want you to type your sentences on the Zoom chat. I'm just gonna go writing them here, typing them here while you do that. Now, what are we doing? We are working on the sentences using paired conjunctions using paired conjunctions uh, like not only, but also both and, and on your book on page 11, basically, you have the structure on how to do this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so th there goes the first sentence um, done by Gabriel. He not only studies hard, but also works well. That sounds right. Now there are four different ways of doing this. And that this is on your book, it's very simple. It's not rocket science, it's not rocket science. Let me see. So one feet here. Okay, so there are two different ways of doing this. Um, whether you use not only, or you use both and, these are our um, pair of conjunctions. So um, I am not only honest, but also trust, trustworthy. Okay, Anna, sell me, that sounds really good. My boss not only knows a lot of, a lot, my boss not only knows a lot, but he teaches very well. Okay. She not only speaks English, but also French. Okay, the car not only is economical. Hmm. Economic? Uh -huh. The car not only is economic, but also feels good to drive. Okay, he not only plays soccer, hmm, but also plays basketball. Now, one thing that you need to consider is the grammar tense that you're using. Conjunction correlative. Uh, what do you mean, Nelson? Oh, and yes. <laughs> Stephanie, that's another way of doing this. Neither nor. <laughs> that's another example and, and of per conjunction. Yeah, Thank but you. is the correlative. That's right. But also, that's okay. right. Thank you. I just wanted you to point that out. Very good. So help me. You have multiple um, examples. Um, Stephanie and Elizabeth is presenting something else. That we haven't covered, but th that's part of the per conjunctions. Uh, neither nor, neither nor. I went to training today, but also I had to attend to work, um, Susana, to work things. I had to attend to work things uh-huh i had to, okay so not only i went to training today but also i had to attend work mm. Mm. 
There's something missing here. Can somebody help me here? Let me put it here. Okay. Uh, things, okay. Okay, what's missing here? Or how can we correct this sentence, everybody? There's no need for the comma. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's another option, Gabriel. I not only went to training. I didn't only, I, I would have said, you know, without knowing this, I would have said, I didn't only went to training. Mm, I don't know. It sounds like negative, right? But I want, this to, is... say, I want to say today, I am going to the training. I have a capacitation and many partners call me, call me, and I don't have to pay attention for that I made the example. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Now remember, you're talking in past, right? So always in past. Not only I went to training today, but also I had to attend to work. And maybe this word is is, is not going there. Let's see. Uh, not only I went to training today, but also I had to attend to work. Yeah. Uh, to do things. To do things, maybe. If you wanted to add that, okay. Uh, I speak both English and Spanish. Very good. I not only went to training. Okay, both of my sisters, if they're both, okay. Both my sisters, both of my sisters got COVID at the same time. Yeah, both of them, both of them, both of my sisters got COVID at the same time. I like not only cheesecake, but also cake. Hmm. Okay, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. Both Mario and Karen enjoyed the movie. That's the way you use it. Okay, it's very simple actually. Just look at the grammar. Not only then you may have a sentence and then add the second per conjunction, which is but only and another sentence. So let's go one by one. And somebody give me the sentence, not only. Excellent, Patricia, okay. So let's go with life examples, okay? Although this is very, as you can read on the book, you may have read on the book on page 11, this is mostly formal, right? Informal contexts uh, to add more information as you uh, connect two elements. But let's say um, not only Rosa got a, an appraisal, what was it, hold on. Not only Russell got an appraisal, but also, uh-huh. Hello. Can you continue the example? <laughs> but also she get or she got a complaint complaining mm. that was a question i had with this topic do you have to continue with a negative sentence Or does the second sentence have to be positive? Positive. Hmm. Not only Russell got an appraisal, but also 
she was promoted, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, women, not only he gave her a ring, but also Hello, hello. Maybe he, but also he asked. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he proposed her. Uh -huh. he, uh -huh. he proposed her. Uh -huh. He proposed her. I'm going to say, but also he asked her, uh, do you want, oh, I don't know, do you want to marry me? <laughs> That's the way you say it, yeah. I mistyped it, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, the, but also he proposed her. Ah, proposed, proposed, okay. proposed her. Okay, it's like asking her to get married. Ah, okay, in a short way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do the next, both. Mm -hmm. Both. Both. Uh, oh my God. Both. Uh, my friend and I, can I say to you? Sure. Uh -huh. Both. My friend and I. Mm -hmm. And I could see. Arrive later. Later. Late. Late. Both my friend and I arrived late to the meeting. Mm -hmm. It's not right, um, right uh, period, teacher. Both no in the in the structure because in Spanish is common ambos coma mi amigo yo. Oh, to, to say to say right. ambos, you say both of us. Both, 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 these are the two conjunctions, the two connectors, both, I'm sorry, both. But the translation of the pure, of the pure sentences, what is in Spanish? Teacher? Both, my friend and I arrived late to the meeting. Ambos, mi amigo y yo, uh -huh. llegamos tarde a la reunión. Okay. Choose the first. Let's see. Let's look at this example. Both topics. Okay. Can you help me correct in this sentence? Everybody. Are interest for me or to me? Hmm. Close. Okay. Are interest. Hmm. Um, of topic interesting. Important. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Okay, both topics yeah. are interesting. To me? To me. To me. For me, to me, yeah, to, to me. me. To both me. topics are interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I will choose the first. But, and, and but. you could say both, but as well, both, but. And I will choose the first. Now here, right? First. First. Now, this is not the way we're looking at things. You need to add more 
information. Do you think this one is correct? Both and? Let me paraphrase this. Both math and science um, topics are interesting. Both math and science topics are interesting to me. I think I am I am not understanding the homework in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So look at the structure. First you need a sentence. You you have two ways of doing things. You can use a sentence and then say but also and add another sentence. So not only Rosa got an appraisal, that's the first sentence, but also she was promoted. That's the second sentence. She was promoted. Now, the second option, the second option of not only is not well structured, right? If you look at the example, uh, for example, Rosa not only got an appraisal, but also she was promoted, but she was promoted also. If you look at your book, let me share it with you if you haven't seen it, maybe. Exactly, just normally you say, you use this, uh, her, these conjunctions in a different way. Um, I not only can dance, okay? And this is the first, the second option. I not only, and then I say something, can dance, but also mm -hmm, I can play the guitar, okay? Again, the subject, okay? The noun phrase is I, that's it. I could say as well, I danced not only with Rosa, but also with Camila. I don't know. Again, I danced not only with Rosa, but also with Camila. That's another way. Or I could say not only I danced with Rosa, but also I danced with Camila. The point is that you can start the sentence with not only or with a noun phrase with a subject here at the beginning. Now in this example, when you use both and end is um, you always start with both the sentences. You always start them with both. Both my brother and I, both um, mangoes and piñas, <laughs> whatever you want to do, but you're adding more information to what you want to say. Is that clear? Okay, let's do something so you can have this clearer. Let's try, oh, and then by the way, yes, uh, just the way Stephanie was doing, look, we have whether or both and. There's a common saying, a very common saying, whether you like it or not, you see, whether you like it or not, we're going to the beach. Can somebody translate that for me, please? Te guste o no. Excellent. Again, whether you like it or not. No. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, we're going to the beach. Te guste o no, vamos a la playa. 
Yeah, whether you like it or not, we're going to the beach. Whether you like it or not, we are getting married. Uh oh. Okay. Not only, but also either or. Okay, can somebody make a sentence with this? This is very interesting. Either you take the pill. Uh huh. Or. Or uh, it's like a it's either is related to a person or a vaccine. <laughs> Or uh -huh, a vaccine, a shot, or a uh -huh. shot, very good. Or a shot. What do you say, jarabe? Syrup. Oh, yeah. Either you take a pill, you take the pill, or a shot. The meaning in Spanish is uh, ya sea yo tome una una pastilla o una inyección. We continue using ya sea. Either you take, but no, in this case it's like o. Oh, o te tomas la pastilla o oh, te inyectas. En cambio arriba es ya sea que. Whether you like it or not, ya sea que te guste o no. La segunda es o oh, te tomas la pastilla o te inyectas. I, I like those. Neither nor. Okay, neither Paul nor Gabriela are going to the to the dance. I mean to the prom. To the prom, to the prom. Let me see if there's another one. No, these are all of them basically. Both and so let's do this in groups small groups to start the class so you can put things together. So one is weather, right? And the other one is or, for example, or one is both and the other one is N. You have the options A or B on each one of the exercises. Is that clear? And that's page, by the way, that is page 11 still, page 11, okay? We are 19 right now, people. So let's do it together. Let's get together. Because uh, for my internet, but we can continue with the exercise. Okay. So, do you have the the book? Yeah, oh. I'm going to share. Uh, it's okay. on your WhatsApp too. Okay. Okay. Well, circle the option that best completes the sentence. Mm -hmm. Compare your choice with the partner. Um, we continue with number three, right? Number one. Number one. Oh, sure. uh -huh, number one, for example, training. Uh, oh, okay, space, training, space, mm -hmm. formal education affects 
on em, an employee's professional development. Um, what, what, what would you choose? Letter A or letter B? For me, it's letter B. Yes, training and um, well, the correct one would be both training and formal. Uh -huh. Both training and formal education affect an employee's professional development. Oh. Uh, what do you think, Gabriel? Uh, for me, is is exactly what you say, B. Letter B. Yes. Okay, the next one says, are online and affordable way to learn. They are a good way to grow your machine. Go via A, number A. Not only Mm. Mm -hmm. For me, it's letter A. Not only are online courses an affordable, affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to grow your machine. Yes, I think it's letter A. In my hey, hey, letter A, three letter A. I think it's letter B. I think it's letter B. Yes, in my opinion. Both experience and education are required requirements to get a promotion. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Both. Yes. Yes. Ah, letter okay. B. Ambas experience and el, okay, okay, both, both. Do you agree, Sandra? Yes. The option letter B? Yes, letter B. Letter okay. B. Okay, Anna Selby, number four. People in Tennessee. Solo, usted tiene the book. Number six. I guess uh, option A. Eight. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
practice. If you want, we can uh, practice. Okay. Uh, number one. Mm -hmm. Number one is a uh, bold and. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, not only, but also. Yes. Number three is both and. Yes. Number four is not only, but also. Yes. Yes. And number five is and not only, but also. Yes. And number six. Both and. Both and. Yep. Both and. Yes. <laughs> No, let me look. Is, uh, is the same yeah. ninguno de los dos, algo así? Mm. I don't know. The, the picture is here. Okay. So what is the meaning of, of neither? Ne neither. neither. We neither. are in, in question number five. So we need to know what is the meaning of neither or, or nor. It's, it's like, it's como cuando decís uh, ni una ni la otra. Oh. <laughs> So you're, you're choosing neither on number five. Let's see, neither the company neither needed a, a manager to encourage training opportunities, nor a person to work closely with employees, professional development. Okay. Hmm. So, Maybe so it's sounds not kind only, of weird. Not only. Not yes. only, yes. The company not only. Um, not only, not only. Not only. Uh -huh. Not only. Not only. Not only needed a manager to no. encourage sure. training opportunities, uh huh? Wendy, is not se not separate. It's no no not only. Oh. Not only. Not only. Not, not only. only. Yeah, we not have only. to. Not we, only. Have to not we have only. to practice that. Not, not only. only. Not only. Not and only. needed. 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 Mm -hmm. The company not only needed a manager to encourage training opportunities, but also a person to work closely with employees, professional development. Yep. But also. But also. But also. But also. But also. But also. Oh my God. Not only, but also. But also. Number five, letter B. The last, number six. It is the responsibility of a leader to encourage learning of skills to promote participation of employees in trainings and coaching stations. Mm. Mm. Is the responsibility of the leader either neither, neither to learning of it is, it is the responsibility of leader both to both mm -hmm. encourage mm -hmm. learning of new skills and to promote the participation of, of employees in training and coaching sessions. I think. Mm. I don't know, neither. Yeah. But is the same, I say, me. But I don't know. Neither, neither is. Yeah, you can use neither like that too. So, but that's, that's like 
answering answering a question um answering the question Wendy um or actually agreeing negatively to someone's statement es como cuando estás de acuerdo negativamente en lo que alguien dice por ejemplo if i say i don't eat i don't eat pupusas then edwin will say neither do i ni yo tampoco neither do i neither do i hmm? de acuerdo en negativo Ajá, una oración negativa, contestas con algo negativo. Neither do I. Either, ahora, con either, let me think about it, I can remember. With either is something else. It's the same, you say you, too, you're, you're, oh, you're giving options, you're giving options. Um, either me neither let me think either do i neither do i neither do i either i either go to the to the class hold on almost never use that teacher either is the same the todos modos or... no you're giving options Either, either. Uh, it's like saying, for example, either you go or we go. Either you either. leave, either you leave or we leave. Puede venir o nosotros ir. Uh -uh. Either you <laughs> leave or we leave. O te vas o nosotros nos vamos. Uh... Either you leave or we leave. So you're giving options. And and that's that's the way you use it. It's not like no es como que te vas a como que vas a el ejemplo anterior. Si yo te digo, um, yo no corro. Ah, yo tampoco. No, either es más para dar opciones. Ya sea mm -hmm. que es como esa opción. Ya sea que es el o o una o la otra. Mm -hmm. Por eso si te fijas el either va con or y el neither va con nor. Teacher, eso, eso, eso me está en la cabeza. Either or, neither nor. Ajá. And Ajá. we can say uh, either you play or you or you leave. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, either uh, you play or you leave. Okay. Yep. That's right. But that's another topic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Either and neither. That's different. Either. Teacher, either is, in Spanish, sorry, either es cuando yo, usted dice algo y yo lo secundo. Either. Podría ser, dejamos, usted diga, uh, yo no quiero frijoles, ah, ni yo tampoco. Neither do I. Neither do I. Cuando estás de acuerdo en la oración negativa de alguien, Wendy, de forma negativa también. Es okay. neither. Neither. Oh. So either and neither, um, you can use them on the same sentence, like options, one or the other. You're giving options to someone, one or the other. That's basically it. Uh -huh. I'll send you something else. Ahí les voy a enviar algo aparte porque eso es largo, eh. Y sí, también puedes ocuparlo de esa manera, pero ah, it's a long story, okay? So, let's go back. Let's go back. We have to move on with the topic. Okay.
future. No, listen. Sure. There we go. Okay. Sorry. So let me share with you really quick some examples of what we can do. Some brief examples. Uh, for example, I can serve you either a hot chocolate or a glass of chilled white wine. So you use either to give options, to give options. Let's say you are the waiter at a restaurant and you want to give options to your guest. Okay. I can serve you either a hot chocolate or a glass of chilled white wine. So this means that you can choose between hot chocolate or a glass of chilled white wine. Make sense? What is a chilled? Chilled. chilled. Cold. Chilled. It's a synonym of cold. Cold white wine. Cold. Okay. Another example, and you can use either at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence, either you tell me everything you know, or I'll take you to court. Either you tell me everything you know, or I'll take you to court. So now keep an eye on this, either goes with or, either or. Okay, that's another option. Now, neither, this is a very good example. I just found it just so, to, so we can leave it clear. I have neither the time nor the patience to listen to your stories. Okay, is that better? Now, you can use them when you want to say one or the other, okay, in a negative way. Instead of saying both of my, uh, both of my daughters are single, okay, the negative way will be neither of my daughters is single. So what's the meaning of neither in this example? What's the meaning Ninguna. of neither? Ninguna, Ninguna, right? Clear, it's very clear. Look at this. I can stay or I can go. Either way, I'll be happy. I can stay or I can go. Either way, I'll be happy. Yes, Ignacio? I have a doubt with the sentence, neither of my daughter, the, it is correct to say is or must be are because you are plural. You tell me. For me, it's R. <laughs> ¿Qué dice el público? Uh, te lo voy a decir en español súper rápido. Mira CNN y ahí donde existe la... Muchos teachers se van por eso. Uh, te, voy a, te lo voy a decir con un ejemplo. Okay, uh, mira CNN in English. People are standing in front of the building. People is standing in front of the building. Okay, CNN ha dicho esto. People is standing in front of the building as a group as one thing, como una cosa única, un grupo de objetos o personas um, específico, ya sea people, daughters, siblings. I could say siblings here, right? I can't remember how to, yeah. Neither of my siblings is single. Neither of my siblings are single. So, puedes ocupar ambos. Al ocupar lo de manera singular, como lo vimos, is se hace más um, formal, Edwin. Ambas formas gramaticalmente son adecuadas, se puede. Ok, solo que la manera singular se ve o lo he visto yo en mi vida como algo más 
o utilizado de manera más profesional, no sé, más formal. Para que lo diga CNN en inglés, I mean, yeah. <laughs> And it's okay. Okay, so I just wanted to clear that out. How to use neither or either is a whole different topic. I will send you a, I'll send you a link to a brief blog on how to use either and neither with this example that I just gave you. Um, perdón, una pausa. ¿Qué dije que iba a ver ayer? No me acuerdo. The video, the, 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 the finish end. Y the endings, and nobody told me, teacher, the video. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that, promise. Remind me later, okay? I'm going to write it here. Ahorita lo voy a escribir en un note, but espérenme. Okay. Idiot in this video. Okay, so let's move on. Let's look at the answers. We only have eight minutes before we do the attendance again. So let's see. First option, answer number one. Everybody, let's do something. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Lo voy a hacer en español super rápido para ahorrar los tiempo. Agarren el control de su Zoom. No sé si hacían esto con otro profesor y manchenme la eh, pantalla por favor practiquen ahí vamos a seleccionar la opción que ustedes crean pónganle un puntito pueden agarrar una estampa también y ponerla donde ustedes crean que es conveniente la respuesta correcta vamos con la número uno let's go with number one go Ofelia <laughs> yeah yeah keep going Teacher, right. Number one. Uh, no, no, no. Choose get a get a tool. Get a tool on your what? tool on your toolbox on mm. Zoom. Adriana, just select anything you want. Okay, you see what I'm doing? No sé cómo se hace, teacher. Eso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In my circle. <laughs> Sandra, really? Yeah. Ok. Esto que estamos haciendo ahorita tiene que ver con el tema que vamos a ver ahorita. Ajá. Uh -huh. No hay una opción. Technology. Do you think uh -huh. that technology is important? Technology, yes. Yes. Where's my. <laughs> Bro, we can do that. Somebody stole my. <laughs> I am pro, pro, pro. Okay, so number one, Ada is saying both and so let's see both training and formal education affect an employee's professional development. What do you think? Yes, both training and formal. Hmm. Yeah, right. They do. Yeah, so that's letter B. Number two. Number two, some classmates uh, underlined. Espero que estén ah, ya familiarizados con esos términos. Si no, hey, cuando me escuchen hablar, por favor, díganme. Teacher, stop. What, what is under, what? Underline, right? What is scratch off, teacher? What is scratch off? What do you mean with scratch off, teacher? Okay. So not only, let's see, not only are online courses an affordable, affordable way to learn, but also they are a good way to boost, they are a good way to boost your resume. Mm. Not, only, uh, not only are online courses an affordable way to learn, yeah, it's true, that's letter A. Hey, boost your resume. What is a resume? A synonym for resume? Is the same continue, continue maybe? No. Aha, uh -huh. that's when you are watching a movie, Wendy, and you hit the, no, the, the, it, the it, pause it button. Means when you when you pause your video. That's the synonym for resume. Okay, resume. Repeat, resume. 
Resume. Resume. Okay, when you pause the video, Wendy, uh huh, and then you come back and you resume. Yes. You resume. Yes. Now, this is not resume, this is resume. Ah. Resume. What is a resume? Nobody? Okay, let me give you the synonym for resume. <laughs> yes, that's your CV, and that is Latin. It's not even English. In English, you say resume. Oh, okay. Let's move on. Number three, neither, no, okay, both experience and education are requirements to get a promotion. Perfect. Very good. Next, number four, people interested in professional development can, mm, mm -hmm. no, that's letter A. Yeah, think about it. People interested, interested in professional development cannot only subscribe to our newsletter to get more information on courses, but also register for new courses notifications. Yes, that's letter A. Number four is letter A. Okay, let me do something really quick. Okay, so here we said is B, here we said is A, here we said it is B, and here, not only. Okay, number five, the company not only needed a manager. Hey, listen to this pronunciation. You don't say not only. Look at me, not only, uh-uh. Not, not, not only, not only, not only. Okay, so again, number five, the company not only needed a manager to encourage training opportunities, but also, but, but, but also, a person to work closely with employees, professional development. Excellent, that's letter B. And the last one, number six, it is the responsibility of a leader. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's number six? Yeah, both to encourage learning of new skills and to promote the participation of employees in trainings and coaching sessions. Excellent. Very good. So don't forget the pronunciation and we didn't cover that before. Pronunciation, you say not only, not only, but also, but also, not only, but also, whether or, whether or, both, both, both. Algunos teachers te dirán both, both, mm -mm, both. Both of us, both of us, both of us. Okay? Either, neither. Okay? You got it? Yes, I got it. Easy cheesy. Okay, let's go with the attendance really quick and then we... Um, we go with areas of improvement. Acuérdense que cada vez que los divido estoy parando la oreja a ver quién pronuncia cómo, qué cosa. Y lo bueno es que a este nivel ustedes tienen muchas áreas de oportunidad en común. Ok, ya van a ver. Ok, so let's go with the attendance first. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. ¿Quién? Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present teacher. Hello. Ok. Gabriel Hello. Ignacio Lara. Present. Excellent. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present teacher. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. 
Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Bien, yo creo que todos estuvimos ayer. Súper rápido, no se les olvide ante todo cuando pasó el listado. Número uno, tener su nombre completo. Y número dos, tener la cámara encendida, señores. Por favor, acuérdense que nos auditan y tienen que ver su hermoso rostro ahí, ¿verdad? Si no, no cuenta. Ok. So, let's talk about your areas of improvement first, ok? I'm sorry, I'm very excited about the topic tonight. So, let's see. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is pronunciation. Look at your chat. Okay. You say, let me let me project this on a whiteboard. Okay. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, this is pronunciation, guys. Leather. Letter. Ah, I just said it. I'm sorry. You say leather or leto. And I'm like, what? Leto B. Leather, leather B. No, you say letter. Hold on. Okay, really quick. Okay, so pay attention. You don't say leather, leather. If you say leather, you are saying uh, cuero, cuero, okay, in English, leather, okay? Lero, 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 no, 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 no. Letter, letter, letter B, letter. So how do you do that? Letter, letter. Tienes que enrollar la lengua hacia atrás. Letter, okay? Next, you're saying think. I think the best option, I think. Mm. The TH is a is a Z, okay? But Salvadorians, we don't use the Z, okay? We say zapato instead of zapato, right? So whenever you see a TH, that is a Z. So you say think, think, think. Thunder, thunder. Thundercats. Mm -hmm. There you go. The, the. Okay. Even with the article, the, 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 the. Okay. And you're saying someone said promotion. I'm like, what? Promotion? No, you say promotion. So when you hear a word ending on T I O N, you say shin. Okay. Try to say shin. Everybody, and you okay? What? Education. 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 Okay. Uh-huh. Education. Education. <laughs> This is more difficult. Vacation. 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 Uh huh. I think this is the right. Uh huh. Exception. 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 I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't. Yeah, that's the right spelling. I think. Exception. There are many words ending on. T I O N, exception, education, etc. No frustration, relaxation, explication, and inflation. Okay, let's go. So, tonight's topic. Okay. Raise your hand. Have you gone to the Seguro Social in El Salvador? Yes. 
Have you gone? Have you been to the east? Raise your hand. Yeah. Okay, there's an opt-in here. Do you love El Seguro Social? No? Why? Come on, why? Why don't you like to go? Nelson, why don't you like to go to El East? No, for me, it's I like because, um, yes, in the, in the, in the 10 year, I have the, the accident in the in the in the east they attend the medical <clears throat> good in operation in my health in the calls in hospital provider is bill but in, in this it's free because me cotization for me because you yeah you pay the social security services right Okay. Nelson, uh, okay, Nelson, I'm sending something on the WhatsApp right now, okay? And this is for everybody, not just for Nelson, for everybody. If you want to get Coherence of speech, coherencia de enunciado, se llama eso. Si te cuesta adaptar tus ideas en español, ya no digamos en inglés, ¿eh? yo comprendo, don't worry, no se preocupen, eso es así. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a atacar? Quiero que veas ese video al final de la clase, si es posible esta noche solo dedicarle una media hora a eso, a ver ese video y adecuar tu horario. Entender cómo es la técnica y si tenés alguna pregunta me avisas, ok, por el WhatsApp, me escriben. Yo después de la clase me quedo okay. subiendo el video y estudiando cómo subo la clase y tratando de mejorarla. So me pueden escribir. Um, eso se llama Just a Minute. Just a Minute. Algunos ya se los había recomendado. A mí me encanta eso porque es bien sencillo. Hacerlo en español primero. Haya coherencia en lo que vas a decir. Y luego empezás con temas bien sencillos a hablar por un minuto. Mira el video. Ok, so let's move on. Yeah, going to El Seguro, right? It's a headache. It's not good. But why? Why is it not good? Why is it always a bad experience, Gabriel, Ignacio? Why is it always a bad experience to go to El Seguro? Sorry, what was the question? Why is it always a bad experience going to El Seguro Social? Uh, I think the the bad the bad attention that the Seguro Social has. Um, I think that the time that the people have to wait there to, in order uh, to be attended. Uh, sometimes the doctors prescribe the same things for the different disease. So yes. at the end, the people didn't don't get well soon. So they have to go to another uh, uh, private medic or they die. I don't know. Excellent. Yeah, you said it. You're right. Well, Nelson said their services are free. Uh, you pay for it. You pay for it, basically. But yeah, Nelson was emphasizing or pointing out. Nelson was emphasizing or pointing out that. Um, sorry, oh, yeah, my screen is flickering. Okay, Nelson was saying that they're they're uh, the way they attend surgery. Nelson, surgery patients is good. Yeah, that's good. There are good doctors, but what, what Gabriel said, right? The attention of not the medical personnel, maybe, but the administrative personnel. So why do you think there's a deficiency, a deficiency on the attention provided by the administrative personnel? Why is there a deficiency? What happened, Carla? Why? 
I guess, teacher, that that these people need a good training uh, about um, attention to the client, to the because I remember ten years ago I was I, I went to the Seguro Social so bad my health my health was very very bad. Then I arrived around eight p.m. Then and the doctor saw me or checked me mm -hmm. around 1 p.m. But the nurses, the, the doctor told me that you need a injection. A shot. A, uh -huh. a shot. Oh, okay. Um, but the nurses told me, oh, wait one moment, please. But they, the nurses, I remember they were checking their cell phone and I told them, hey, please, would you help me? I feel uh, a pain, a dolor. Pain. You help me, please, I'm dying. Yeah, no, I, I, was, <laughs> I, I went to the hospital this time because um, the nervous septic, I don't, I don't remember. I know, I know. Uh huh. But I, I feel so, so terrible. Then when the nurses didn't attend me, uh, I returned to my house. But the, the, the problem was when I arrived in my home, I, I had to call to my, my oldest son. And I remember I told him, hey, could you please tell me? I, I, I didn't walk. Yeah. But in the morning, a friend, uh, I called to, I called to, to uh, I, I have a friend, but he, he is uh, like, um, but a nurse like but no no a nurse yes. yes oh okay but they went to my house and they put my shot they shot you okay good job wilfredo areas let's see repeat nurse nurse everybody nurse nurse <laughs> okay nurse and yes okay. he is a nurse it's a profession okay I'm um, there's a song from the daughter of Will Smith, you know, who's, who's, who's Will Smith, right? With her, yes. Will yes. Smith. Right. And the song says, wait a minute, I think <laughs> I lost my consciousness in the sixth dimension, right? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it says, wait a minute, repeat, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait ah yes. Minute. Listen to that song. Wait a minute. You don't wait say. Minute. Yeah, you don't say. Wait one moment. Nah. Um, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. But In, I had to wait around three hours. I had to help. wait for around for about three hours. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> this time, when you refer to a point in time in in the past, and you want to say, uh Y en, ton, y en ese entonces, y en ese entonces, then you say, back then, man, back then. back then I was in pain. Back then I was in pain. Back then I had money, teacher. Back then I was married, right? Etc. Okay. What's well, then? Back then. En ese entonces. Ojo todos, eh? En ese entonces. Man, back then. Back then. Um, it wasn't dangerous. El Salvador was not dangerous back then. Back then. Okay. When arriving at home, when I arrived home, when I arrived home. Okay. So why are we talking about El Seguro Social and the service? And yes, Wilfredo said training needs. Man, training needs. There is something going on in medical um, health programs all around the world. You know, globalization. I, I bet you are you are familiar with globalization. Um, the first thing that they updated when they globalized everything was the records of patients in the hospitals 
you know, uh, at chiropractors, medical heritage, I mean, healthcare facilities, health care facilities. Um, why? Because do you remember Seguro Social before? It was like a lot of papers. You had, you had to schedule your appointment and you still, you still have to schedule your appointment three or six months ahead of time. Right? That's crazy. And, and it, it was because of, of a lot of papers they had to find for you, your record, your medical record. And the more you go to the hospital, to the ease, the more papers you have, right? So uh, now moving to the topic, what happens with these people who have been working in El Seguro for 30 years, I don't know, thousands of years. It's okay, I mean, but you have to develop your skills, okay? Now, I'm going to throw a question really quick. In groups, I want you to define the difference define what is the difference let me write it what is the difference between skill and ability oh i know teacher i know relax wait <laughs> okay what is the difference between skill and ability so in groups you only have three minutes it's just gonna be three minutes to talk to your classmates. Hey, what is skill? What is that ability? What is the difference between skills and abilities, okay? Really quick, brainstorm, brainstorm. You got it? Yeah. <sighs> no? Okay, you got it, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Charla, Char hey, Carla, wake up. Go, let's go, let's go. Three minutes, three minutes. Hello. 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 Mucho gusto. Is the question is a different So, the question? Uh, the question is what is the difference between a skill and, ab and ability so probably you born in something to something very good but actually the ability, you know, you born with that skill. Inability, probably, like, if you do something and you do it good, I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if you have another, another option. How the cap the capacity to do something, I think. Skill is basing in knowledge and ability is in capacity, I think, for me. And you will have... Um, I'm, I agree with you because um, I, I could read wrote, wrote, and, uh, about ability. It is a capacity that a person has or has to potential about to do something and a skill um, um, um. And a skill, it is uh, like a, a knowledge. Um, for example, in my company, when they need to um, contratar, I don't remember how do you say. Hire. 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 Yes. Hide. Yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you. <laughs> when the, when a company it is hiring, um, always in English, I uh, I could see. Um, uh, I don't know, but skill 
And then uh, knowledge about Excel, Power, Power BI, and another, another characteristic. I guess, I guess that. You, Stephanie, what do you think? For me, I don't know how do you say. Teacher, how do you say facilidad? Facility. Facility? No, the capacity. capacity. When you have the capacity of doing something, okay, the, I, the ability of doing something. Yes, I, I, I try to say that. Like for me, ability is when you you are like the word capacity for for do something more easy capable how when you are capable capable of, capable of doing something easier okay mm -hmm. capable i think the same <laughs> okay i want to try that ability for me is when you do something more easy easily 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 than others yeah totally okay it was a simple exercise let's go back hmm Adriana, Roselena, Stephanie, and Wilfredo. <laughs> oh, oh, Gloria, Carla, Ophelia. Oh, oh. Time's up, time's up, time's up. Okay, give me your thoughts. What is the difference between a skill and an ability? Julia. Okay. Um... For me, the difference between skills and abilities is that an ability is something that you acquire uh, for experience, like for years, that you are practicing something for years, so you acquire the ability to do it. And a skill is something that you, that you have, something that you can do without work on it. Without experience, without having the experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Who agrees or disagrees? Oh, do you agree or do you disagree? No vayan a llegar a, a un call center o a una embajada y escriban el cliente, I mean, the client does not agree okay the client disagrees okay the client agreed with my idea okay no pongan the client is agree agree disagree okay so do you agree or do you disagree with julia no volunteers Let's see, my favorite color is black. I don't see anybody wearing black tonight other than Wendy's hair or Stephanie's hair. Black hair, beautiful hair. Okay, Stephanie or Wendy, what do you think? What's the skill and what's the ability? Uh, good evening. Uh, for me, a skill is something you can learn or you can teach easily. Uh, for example, uh, programming. And I think the ability is something that is natural on you and it's innate uh, and it's difficult to teach to others because, uh, for example, uh, I don't know, showing empathy or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, repeat programming. <laughs> programming. <laughs> programming yeah that's what you were trying to say so you are you're confused you know when i when i started this ooh, long time ago it's very confusing it's, it's so easy to get confused so let's study this really quick uh so we can understand these concepts and then we're going to watch a short video that i loved 
this video that we will watch after this uh, changed my life back in 2000 something, 2016, I think. I saw that video for the first time. So let's see, in today's schedule on this presentation, we're gonna talk about vocabulary. We've talked about vocabulary already, and let's continue with that. On the video, you will learn vocabulary. Let's learn about skills and abilities. And then we're gonna talk about training needs, okay? So please pay attention. Remember this video, there, there, there's, there's a video after the class, right? You can review the content as well. Just pay attention. Let's talk about skills. I'm Welcome. gonna I'm gonna jump that video. But skill kinds, we have two types of skills, okay? We have soft skills. Wendy. Um, ball is, the, the ball is in your court. Soft skill are universal and not associated with a particular job or industry thing, communication, active listening, or empathy. Okay, soft, soft skills. Soft, soft skills. Soft, soft skill. Good. Soft skills. Soft skills. Mm -hmm. Are universal and not associated with a particular particular job or industry so for example thinking thinking is a soft skill communication the the capacity of communicating with others that's a skill okay active listening that's another skill and empathy as well so uh on contrary okay uh to what uh, our classmate was saying stephanie was saying Soft skills are natural. It's not an ability, it's just something in you. For example, uh, me, I learned to speak English by myself. Do you think that's an ability or a skill? It's ability because you do it only. only. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's find out, okay? And then we, we repeat the question, let's see. Hard skills, Susana, Carolina. Hard skills are abilities you learn on the job through formal education or additional training. They are teachable, measurable, and relate to a specific job. Excellent. Just repeat through. 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 Uh -huh. Z R U. Todos. Through. Through, uh -huh. through formal education. And again, related. Related. Perfect. Related to a specific job. Again, are abilities you learn on the job through formal education or additional training. They are teachable. I like this word. They're teachable, measurable, and related to a specific job. Do you understand, guys, the word measurable? Quickly, what is measurable? Medible. Medible, excellent, very good. So, so I should backwards, right? Stephanie, yeah, you have soft skills, things that you have from your birth. You were born thinking, communicating, having active listening, being empathetic, being rude. You were born you were born with the way you are, okay? Can you teach somebody how to think? It's a tricky question. That is a tricky question. Can you teach somebody how to think? Yes, come on guys. Okay, yes, you can do that. Hard skills, abilities, you teach abilities be careful with that let's continue uh let me see life skills so let's talk about life skills uh, who's gonna read now sandra gladys you here okay uh, life life mm -hmm. skills life skills essential abilities someone needs for everyday life how to dress yourself, how to brush your teeth, how to tie your shoes, 
how to have a conversation. Life skills, great, Susana. I mean, Sandra, Sandra, great. So you say brush. Brush, brush. 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 Okay, again, brush. Brush. ¿Cómo le hace las gallinas en la noche? Shh, shh, shh. Ahí está, brush. Brush. Ahí está, ok. Y la siguiente, tir. Otra vez una TH, miren, es una Z sí. al final. Tir. Sí. Ok, brush your teeth. Sí. Brush your teeth. Yes. Very good. How to tie your shoes, how to have a conversation. So those are life skills. Are these soft or hard skills, everybody? Si no, tienen, si no tienen mucho ruido en su entorno, enciéndanme el micrófono para que me estén contestando, porque siento bien feo estarles preguntando algo y todos se quedan callados, vea. <laughs> so, let's go. Hard, hard skills? Hard, soft, soft. Hard, soft. Soft. Skills. Okay. Can you teach them? Can you teach somebody how to dress? Or do you yes. have to teach? Do you have to teach someone? Yes, you teach your kids. Yes. Your kids. Yes. Yeah. How to brush. Yes. Okay. Do you teach them or do you show them? Okay. Mm. Hmm. I show. <laughs> I show how I brush my teeth. <laughs> and you show them how okay. to, to get okay. dressed. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. How to tie your shoes. Yes, I show how yeah. to do this. So these are soft. These are soft skills. Yes. Okay. Career skills. This is more related to us. Okay. English for work. Career skills. Uh, um, Anna, send me. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Career skills. Abilities to keep someone successful at work. Professionally. Mm. Networking. Time management. Leadership. Good job. 2007, una conferencia de, de gerentes, una reunión de gerentes en un call center en el que estaba. Me invitan como supervisor. Y hablando en inglés, yo digo management, 2007. Oh, no, sí. Y yo digo management, y empiezan a reírse. Oh, my God. Y aprendí que el, el, la estrés de la sílaba va en ma. Eh, management. Management. Cuidado con esa palabra. No, no, sí. Management. No, no. Fuerte. Management. 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 Ahí está. Management. management. Time management. Okay, next. Professionalism. Zim. Professionalism. 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 Okay. Good. Leadership. Okay, so abilities to keep someone successful at work. These are abilities. So this means that you can learn and you can teach how to be professional, how to do networking, which means uh, to work in groups of people, right? Time management, right. yes, you can learn. And you will learn in this future five models, you will learn about time management, you will learn about networking and professionalism. And also on advanced six, you will talk about leadership. I hope I am with you. If not, good luck. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you have um, someone to give you a book, okay? Someone who gives you a book. Leadership is an amazing topic. Okay, so you can learn. That's an ability. Rosa, soft skills. Okay, soft skills. Universal abilities that help any career. Reading communication, verbal communication, professionalism, time management. <laughs> Good job. Professionalism. Professionalism. Mm -hmm. So difficult. No, that's very simple. There are many words that end with ism. Ism, 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 professionalism, altruism, altruism, socialism, socialism, socialism. I think, think about words that end in Spanish with ismo. 
Physiocultrism, culturism, I don't know. There's a lot. Okay, and lately, overlap. What is overlap? Somebody? Um, let's see. Uh, oh my God. Nelson is gone. Walter Mauricio, overlap. Okay, overlap. Professionalism, impact management, communication, creativity. And creativity. Okay, so overlap means that you can use both. You can teach communicative skills. And something that we were talking about in El Seguro Social, they are missing something called people skills. People skills. We are about to talk about that, people skills. Now, lately, um, Adriana, employability skills. Repeat, Adriana, employability skills. Employability skills. Uh, finding a job posting, completing an interview, writing a resume, resume networking, <laughs> uh -huh. abilities to find, apply to, interview for, and secure mm -hmm. a job. Good, good. Okay, I know you know this word. It's a finding, right? Finding. Finding a job posting, completing an interview, writing. Uh, I hope you're looking at me, but anyways, writing. Cuando tenés una W antes de una R, tu boca siempre va a ser una U. Cuando tenés una W antes de una R, tu boca siempre va a formar una U. De hecho, si una R está al principio de una, de una palabra, tu boca tiene que empezar haciendo una U. La lengua va hacia atrás. Porque en inglés no existe la R, existe la R, 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 R ok? So you say writing a resume. Writing. writing a resume. Everybody, writing a resume. Writing a resume. There you go. Okay. So let's move on, guys. Uh, this is very interesting, actually. And let's, go, let's finish talking about the different kinds of skills. Among hard skills, we said they are teachable abilities, skill sets that are easy to quantify. Keep an eye on that, okay? They're easy to quantify. Proficiency in a foreign language. How much English do you know, Gabriela Gonzalez? What percentage of English do you know at this point? Uh, I think hmm, 60%. 70%, 60, yeah, it's measurable. Thank you, Gabriela. Yes, you can say how, what's your percentage of English. Okay, a degree or a certificate, right? You can um, basically get a degree, certify any ability, any skill. Typing speed, typing speed. Do you think you can improve your typing speed, Gloria? Can you improve your typing speed? Uh, yes. Yeah, right. Easy. You go online. In fact, there is a website where you can practice typing. That's simple. Now, machine operation. This is an ability, right, Will? Machine operation. Wilfredo is an engineer. He knows that machine operation is an ability. Nobody is born, you know, with the ability of operating a machine or driving a car, for example, <laughs> that's an ability and you have to learn it. Is, it. it is so, so dangerous teacher because you need to have uh, good training to use it. You need to because have, you, uh -huh. you, you, maybe you will lose your, your finger. I, yes. I, um, I have, I have seen people who have a cut your uh, nails, your fingers. There, there. Your, there. Their nails, their fingers. Uh -huh. their, uh, yes, yes, their nails. Their nails. And their legs. Yes. But it is, it is. Uh, so. Sí, yo trabajo con seguros en Estados Unidos. O sea, acá en El Salvador, como intérprete para una aseguradora. Los que estaban conmigo están diciendo, ya muchos había tratado de no mencionarlo. Así. 
Si era una aseguradora. En Estados Unidos los seguros trabajan de manera diferente y me tocó traducir una vez a un señor que se había cortado en tres pedazos la, par, la pierna. Ay, fue horrible. But anyways, ok, oh. let's see. Computer programming, what Stephanie was saying. You have to learn. To pro programming is learned. Soft skills, ok. Communication. And this is something that I hope you learn here in this class communication, how to speak in public. Flexibility, what do you think is flexibility? Look at the drawing. Look at this little drawing. So if I say that this, that English is easy, I say English is easy. English is easy. And every time Gloria, Gabriela, Nelson, Wilfredo, they are always telling me, no, teacher is difficult. I mean, English is difficult, teacher. English is difficult, teacher. And I go, no, it's easy. No, it's difficult. So I will be flexible and say, okay, it's difficult sometimes, okay? So you can be flexible. <laughs> That's being flexible. Leadership. Leadership. That, do you understand what is a leader? Mm -hmm. I hope you do. Not a boss, a leader. A leader leads, a leader shows how you do things. He doesn't go like, okay, do it. No, he teaches you. A leader is a teacher sometimes. Teamwork. And this is something that I need to see in you guys. This, um, this skill is something that I have to see in you. Teamwork. Every time I split you in groups, go ahead, teamwork. And please, Use time management. What is time management? Really quick. Uh huh. What is time management? To take advantage. And when you administrate the time very efficient. <laughs> okay, new word for you, honey. Wisely. Oh, yes, wisely. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know it. It's like wisdom. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, wisely. When you, uh, when you manage time wisely. Okay. So let's see. Abilities is a synonym. Is a synonymous with, uh, I'm sorry, ability is synonymous with capability, potential, or capacity. It determines whether or not you possess the means to do something, okay? Can you run 10 kilometers without one leg? You don't have the capacity. For example, good communication skills, that's an ability. Critical thinking, critical thinking. Now, one thing about abilities, you can learn them or you are born with these abilities. Okay. Me, for example, uh, super rápido cuando estaba pequeño tenía dislexia, podía hablar con quien fuera, aunque fuera un con perfecto desconocido, yo le hablaba igual. Llegué a viejo y sigo igual. Okay. <laughs> That's an ability. It's an ability. Y hoy uno de mis tres hijos, bueno, dos de mis tres hijos han sacado esa habilidad. Yo los dejo. Encuentran a alguien, claro, ¿verdad? No, primero veo que no tenga cara de loco a la persona. <laughs> Digo, like, hola, ¿qué tal? Okay, go ahead. Say hello. Say my name is, say please, say thank you. Okay, critical thinking. Y eso es algo que quiero que ustedes adquieran en esta clase. Critical thinking. ¿Por qué el teacher está haciendo énfasis en las cosas que está diciendo? ¿Por qué repitió dos veces esa palabra? Mm, ok, quizás quiere que la aprendamos. No la escuché, le voy a preguntar. Ok, working well in a team, self-motivation. Self-motivation is very important. Being flexible, as we said. Determination and persistence. You on this group, I know you are determined. You are persistent. I mean, you're in advance one, right? So good job. Being a quick learner, being a quick learner. Hmm. Don't wait for your boss to tell you twice something. Just one time. And good time management as we spoke. Okay. So this is like uh, a little introduction to the importance of learning something. We're gonna use the last few minutes 
to watch a quick video and I need you to do some homework. Um, super rápido, antes de poner este video, antes de pasarles el video, quiero explicarles algo por si alguien no sabe cómo hacer esto. Yo siempre pensando en todo, vea. Pero sí, créanme, ya me ha pasado varias veces. Bien, cuando yo estoy en YouTube, si ¿sí ven la pantalla de YouTube ahí, ok. Ok, so, eh, yo voy a YouTube y digamos ahorita que los quiero dividir o nos vamos a quedar aquí mejor todos juntos, pero cada quien en su celular o en su computadora va a ver el video que les voy a pasar. Número uno, no vamos a compartir la pantalla. Ok, eso es muy importante. Eh, no sé si me escucharon eso. Yes. Ok. Bien, número dos. Aquí hay un botoncito que dice CC, Subtitles, Closed Captions, para poder ver los subtítulos del video que son autogenerados por, por YouTube. En nuestro video de clase, de hecho, me parece que eventualmente, poco a poco, van surgiendo los, uh, los subtítulos que nos aplica a YouTube. Bien, ¿por qué les estoy explicando esto? Porque es necesario que ustedes uh, puedan verlo con subtítulos el video que les voy a pasar. Uno y dos, si sienten que está muy rápida la manera en la que hablan, miren, se van a settings, aquí abajo, en la mano derecha abajo, y pueden irse a playback speed. ¿Qué tan rápido se reproduce el video? Hacia abajo, pues va más lento, hacia arriba, no, ¿cómo es la cosa? Espérense, no, para arriba es más lento y para abajo es más rápido. Entonces, digamos, ahorita está normal, lo voy a poner en punto cinco, esto se va a reproducir como tortuga. ¿Sí? ¿Se fijan? Entonces... I am tired. I am tired. Dijo el compañero. Uh, I, I guess. I, I guess. I guess. I guess. Y ahí va. ¿Ya? Entonces, es importante. Otra vez, subtítulos. Los pongo en inglés. ¿Ok? Y el playback speed, si es necesario, los lo cambio. ¿Ok? No compartir el video que les voy a pasar porque tiene copyrights. <coughs> Aún el volumen. Apagamos los micrófonos. Solo son cinco minutitos. Y luego, ojo, eh, ir agarrando palabras. Yo ahí aprendí una palabra que dice, dice eto, ito, como se dice ito en inglés. Y este tema está excelente. Eh, hace muchos años fue una corriente de pensamiento que surgió y ojalá que las compañías en El Salvador lo apliquen un día. Se los estoy enviando por aquí y por el WhatsApp. So, apagamos los micrófonos. Yo se los voy a apagar ahorita. Tenemos exactamente el tiempo del video que... Son cinco minutos y treinta segundos. Go ahead.
Ok. It was almost six minutes. So really quick, I need three words that you catched from the video. Learning. Fear to fear. Somebody said learning. Another one. Peer to peer. Peer to peer. Yeah. Pera to pera. Uh huh. <laughs> My Myriam, Miriam, Myriam. Can you write it? Okay. Ethos. Oh, yes. Myriad. Yeah. Myriad. Oh. Myriad. Yeah. Myriad. Myriad. Very good. And this is the way you write it, right, Julia? I think he, she said it. Peer to peer. Rip. 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 That's a good one, too. Yeah. Okay. So that's the way you should learn English now. Okay, something that I will recommend you is TED Talks. TED Talks. That's, that's in, amazing in English. In English, of course. Learn about the brain, about neurolinguistics. Neurolinguistics, that's uh, like a trend. Nowadays, that's a trend to learn about neurolinguistics. Um, so look it up, Google it. Now, Rewatch the video, study the video, because eventually we will do a presentation in groups about the video, okay? By the end of this week, we will be doing presentations about um, needs of assessment, training needs, promotional, uh, professional, promoting professional development. And that's the topic for this first unit and part of the second unit as well has to do with training needs, okay? So study that. Tonight I'm staying with ta, 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 Adriana Estefani Martinez Flores. Just 10 minutes, please. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay. Bien, chicos, eso ha sido todo por hoy. Eh, espero que hayan disfrutado un poco más la clase. Vamos llegando un poco más al dinamismo de la clase. Eh, y pues eventualmente vamos a estar participando más. Yo estoy comprometiéndome con ustedes a mejorar la clase día tras día, día tras día, para que esto sea más, no son aburridos en realidad. Si tú lo pensás, eh, no estamos eh, con la expectativa de que tú aprendas. Bueno, si veas, si ya crees que vas a llegar a esa posición o ya la tenés, te va a servir de mucho. Eh, pero más que todo es como, y este fue el motivo por el cual yo aprendí inglés desde pequeño, porque quería ver otras cosas. O sea, mi sed de, de conocimiento me llevó a entender que, men, hablar inglés te abre las puertas para ver videos, libros que en español no están traducidos, o incluso conferencias que son súper nutritivas. Créeme, eso es súper bonito. Ok, so, esa es la expectativa. Good, me quedo con Adrián. Entonces, el que va diciendo presente se puede desconectar si gusta cuando sean las 10. Ok, good night, everybody. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Good night. Good night. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Good night. Carla, good night. <laughs> Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Thank you. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra, por ahí está. Ok, Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. <laughs> Present, good night. Good night, and Wilfredo Guardado Rivera.
Present teacher. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>la primera es, eh, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia hasta ahora con el inglés? O sea, um, ¿ha sido buena, ha sido mala? Si sí, um, ha venido de aprender de otras academias, ha venido acá, pues, eh, más o menos cuánto tiempo lleva. Y ya con el tiempo que lleva aprendiendo inglés, ¿qué es lo que usted ha sentido que, que es su talón de Aquiles? Que usted dice, chica, no hombre, eso, esto es lo que... No puedo. Ahí, ahí se queda en esa parte. Este, yo comencé, bueno, desde que inicié, inicié la universidad no me, no me, no me, no me surgía el, el deseo de aprender inglés. Hasta que terminé la universidad y vi que, este, bueno, tuve un tiempito como, como en espera de que me contratara cuando metí mi, mi currículum y todo. Y me metí a IRCA, así intensivo. Y entonces me gustó, empecé a agarrarle gusto al inglés. Es que en realidad pensaba que me cerré mucho en época de, de la universidad. Me cerré un montón que no, no puedo, no me gusta, no quiero y así. Y este, cuando, cuando fui a las clases y vi que la verdad que pues sí, ¿verdad? Es, es también cosa de uno, de la actitud que uno le pone a las cosas y que... Si me lo enseñan desde, bueno, desde como que yo fuera, pues, ah, desde el nivel principiante, este, le empecé a agarrar gusto y así fue. Bueno, total de que cuando llegué, bueno, empecé a trabajar, ya, ya no pude seguir, ¿verdad? Pero este, ya cuando estaba en la empresa, me, me, me vi en la necesidad de continuar con el inglés por los documentos, correos que nos mandan en inglés. Y yo era la única que puchica, voy a buscar el Google Traductor ahí para poder entender lo que decía el correo o los, o los documentos y eso. Entonces dije que no, vean, ya no, no es posible. Entonces en el 2019 comencé, este, me hicieron una evaluación y empecé con el, con, el, con el 3, si no me equivoco, el principiante 3, ya con Insafor. Y, y seguí, ¿verdad? Pero solo que ahí era presencial, ahí en Adon Bosco. De, en del tío Catlán. Ah, ajá. Ajá, hice dos módulos así. De ahí fue que suspendieron el horario que llevábamos y como ya tenía el mío pequeño, dije, no, no me conviene ir todos los días y así. Lo dejé en stand-by, por decirlo así. Después lo retomé ya el año pasado. O sea, ya el año pasado en marzo, abril, si no me equivoco. Y desde entonces estoy ahí continua hasta ahorita. Entonces, de es? lo que sí, mi Ajá. talón de Aquiles, es que lo pienso mucho y como la verdad que no repaso mucho las palabras, no me la, no me, o sea, mi vocabulario siento que tampoco lo he extendido, no porque no me lo hayan enseñado ustedes, sino que porque yo no me, no me tomo el tiempo para aprendérmelo. Ajá. O sea, ahorita que ya vi, hay, hay varias palabras que nuevas para uno, yo, Ari, aprendetelas, Ari, aprendetelas. Y así, ¿verdad? Pero uno, no sé, uno es el que no, no, no pone la, la disposición o el tiempo, no hace el tiempo por, por los mil y un que hacer es que uno tiene, uh -huh. uno no hace el tiempo. Y Pero eso, sí, yo creo que está el... joven, ya entre más viejo está uno, más, más difícil. Eh, difícil se hace, pero es porque uno va adquiriendo responsabilidad, la vida le cambia a uno. Y pues, uno mismo se vuelve el talón de Aquiles. Es lo que usted me está diciendo. Usted mismo es el talón de Aquiles. <risa> ok. Sí, de hecho, porque yo sé que si, si, si 
por ejemplo, todos los días escucho música en inglés o todos los días veo que está, bueno, el video de la clase, como se, o hago los ejercicios que, que, que nos, nos ha dejado, yo sé que, que eso no solo me va a ayudar, pero es la, es la a veces es la, la... La rutina lo absorbe a uno. Ahora, ¿a usted le urge hablar inglés? No me urge hablarlo, pero sí leerlo. O leerlo sea, y escribirlo. De por, por lo de mi trabajo me menciona o por... Porque... Ajá, ajá, pues por el trabajo entonces. Es que no, no sé no, si ha bueno. ya considerado eso, el decirse a sí mismo, o sea... ¿Qué es lo que... Necesito hablar inglés o no. Ah. Quizás no me he puesto con esa presión conmigo misma. Fíjese que yo, yo, sí. acabo, yo dejé de fumar. Dejé de fumar hace... Uh, bueno, uh, me dio COVID este año. Este ha sido un año bien duro para mí, pero eso fue lo más fuerte. Y, y fue porque le dije a Diosito, Dina, ayúdame a dejar de fumar. Vea. Toma tu COVID, me dijo. Bueno. <risa> Entonces, dije yo, bueno, me escuchó, me escuchó ¿verdad? voy a aprovechar, dije, hey, pasé dos meses prácticamente sin fumar, ahí se murió una prima y bueno, ha sido un dolor fuerte y andar con el esposo de él, que el esposo se quedó con los, mi cuño se quedó con los, mis tres sobrinos, las dos niñas pequeñas y el mayor de 17 años, o sea, un golpe bien duro, entonces andar con él en las velas y todo eso, duró dos días la vena y él fuma como chimenea entonces ya o sea <ríe> o andaba respirando su humo vea volví a caer pero noté una cosa que no es de es de no perder el impulso y, y simplemente estarse repitiendo no constantemente ahorita lo voy a hacer algo que me ayudó mucho y eso es lo que le quería decir pensar en el beneficio que le va a traer más que en el sacrificio que está haciendo. Pensar en el beneficio que voy a tener más que en, el, que en el sacrificio que estoy haciendo. Usted se pone a dieta, piense más en el beneficio que le va a traer. Y eso está fácil. Póngase una foto. Yo tengo una foto mía por ahí, porque también estoy a dieta y que quiero volver a estar así. Quiero volver a estar así por salud. Ya a este punto ya es por salud, no es vanidad. Entonces, póngase esa meta. Quiero aprender inglés, ok, ¿qué beneficios me van a traer? ¿Qué beneficios me van a traer? A mí me cambió la vida, yo si no hablar inglés, no sé, no sé qué habría sido de mi vida, le digo. Entonces, piensa en eso, empiece por ese paso pequeño, escribir en un papel y luego lo hace bonito y téngalo cerca siempre de usted, ¿qué beneficio puede obtener? ¿Por qué? Porque su cerebro, al igual que de todos los adultos, o sea, nosotros somos perezosos. Y el cerebro se aburre de estar viendo que uno no hace nada por él. Y el cerebro está funcionando así. No deja de funcionar toda la vida. Todavía uno se muere y a veces queda trabajando como siete minutos, dicen. O sea, es exagerado. Entonces, por lo mismo, deje eso en alguna parte o en algunas partes de su casa. Y el cerebro inconscientemente, con la vista periférica, va a estar leyendo eso. Va a estar viendo ese recordatorio, si es posible, en una página amarilla. ¿Ya? Ya va a ver. Ya va a haber ningún esfuerzo va a hacer usted y de repente se va a dar cuenta que está haciendo. Sí, estoy repasando. Tenía rato de hacer esto y al día siguiente y, y ahí va. Inconscientemente se va a obligar a dejar de ser su propia piedra de tropiezo. Sí, así de que sí. ánimo. ¿Cómo lo va a hacer? Piense ahora, luego de determinar esto, de qué beneficio le va a traer. Luego piense. ¿Qué es lo primero que va a atacar? Hago un listado de cosas, diga, creo que el presente, el pasado simple es lo que más me ha costado aprender, el pasado perfecto, el presente perfecto, los tiempos gramaticales que ya vi, este volado sí me costó, vaya, pedirle apoyo al teacher, ¿qué puedo hacer para hacer esto? Fácil, ¿ok? Sí. Y despacio, no sí. se agobie, esto requiere tiempo, ya tiene seis meses más o menos para poder pulir lo que aprendió, y poder hablar súper bien, que ya lo hace ¿eh? yo la noto que habla súper bien solo hay ciertos detalles comunes que en este nivel, pues en este programa se pueden dar, pero lo vamos a ir corrigiendo, ok ok, dicho, gracias por la motivación <risa> ánimo siempre, se lo prometo que siempre que, que, que hablo o, 
o, o, me, o me analizo, uh -huh. sí me aflijo, o sea, me, hasta me expreso, me da ansiedad y yo no es que, pero se lo, se lo prometo, o sea, a estas alturas de mi vida, quizás, este, ajá, o sea, no, 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 me, no, no siento que tenga mucho tiempo libre, pero me siento mal que mi poquito tiempo libre ya busco estar en el teléfono o, o estar acostada, no sé, ya no, ya no es aquello que, pues sí, aquella La ansia. comprendo, la comprendo, ajá, entonces, no se preocupe, yo sé lo que está pasando, yo estoy pasando por lo mismo, después del COVID quedé diferente, o sea, ya, ya es un cansancio bien arraigado y es cuesta, cuesta, me está costando también. Mire el video que les envié ahora al WhatsApp. Empiece okay. por ahí y hágalo en español y luego en inglés. Autocritíquese. Uh -huh. Eso le va a ayudar mucho. ¿Ok? Ok. Ah, pues, feliz noche. Good night. Bye, night, teacher. Thank you.